Nittany Lions appearance at the Rose Bowl caps off the 2022 season, and the game does come 100 years after Penn State's first appearance at the Tournament of Roses. Box 43's Andrew Callista tells us why the trip was so unique for Penn State and why it continues to live on in Penn State lore. The Nittany Lions back in the Rose Bowl with their fifth appearance. Now, 100 years ago, the Nittany Lions made the trip out west to play in their first Rose Bowl game. Now, that game was the first Rose Bowl ever played in this stadium. And let me tell you, it was one memorable day for the blue and white. Penn State's head coach at the time, Hugo Bezdick. He was a wheeler and a dealer. The 1922 team was 6-3-1, and, and the invitation to play in the Rose Bowl actually came before the season based on the success of the 1920-21 and 21 team. Politics played a part, uh, and you know, West Coast politics, football politics. But eventually, Penn State gets invited to play USC. So here's how it went down. The Nittany Lions make the cross-country trek by train from State College to the West Coast. They make the stop at the Grand Canyon, then it's on to LA. The day of the game, there is no police escort for the Lions, so Bezdick hires taxi cabs. They get caught in a traffic jam, can't make it to the stadium in time, and they even walk a mile to get there, according to the Penn State Football Encyclopedia. The traffic was horrible, so he convinced the, he took off the, uh, the, the cab drivers to start cutting through people's yards, lawns. I mean, and it was just, a, it was like a three ring circus. It didn't stop there either. The game gets delayed over an hour and before the kickoff, Bezdick and USC's coach Elmer Henderson, they almost come to blows. The crowd was going wild and there were 43,000 people at the stadium. So it was just a crazy, crazy scene. And the game turned out to be actually a good football game. That game ended up being a 14 to three loss for the Nittany Lions up against USC. But as they say, that one is now in the history books and the 2023 contest will be as well in short order. By the way, one more note on that 1922 squad. The Nittany Lion mascot made its debut that year at the Polo Grounds in New York. And by the way, Coach Hugo Bezdick, he is being inducted or was inducted, I should say, into the Rose Bowl Hall of Fame yesterday at the Rose Bowl with the Nittany Lions. Andrew Callista, Fox 43.